Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, today, O.J. Simpson has passed at the age of 76. And O.J. Simpson, for me growing up, seeing him, we we're talking about the greatest running backs in the history of the NFL, the Jim Browns, the O.J. Simpsons, the um, Eric Dickerson's, the uh, Tony Dorsett's and things. Um, his life, of course, changed after football and so on. And I remember, I think it was in 1994, the chase that happened with the murder of Nicole Simpson, his wife, the trial of the century, and all of that stuff. I'm not going to get into the politics or anything like that or what may or may not have happened. Um, it's tragic all the way around, everything that happened from this situation for a person who had so much immense talent, such an incredible career, and, you know, endorsements for Hertz. You always saw O.J. Simpson running through the airports and things, um, li li seeming to be living the perfect life after football. And to have gone through all that that was, is, it's sad, it's tragic to have seen his life ended up being in prison, to after getting out of prison, the Las Vegas incident where... He was trying to get his stuff back to see the Heisman Trophy that he had having to be removed from his alma mater. It's just sad. And in the end, what I'd like to remember is I'd like to remember watching O.J. Simpson, the running back, that was incredible on the field. And that's where it goes. Um, sadly, one thing I will say is, is this, when we see somebody famous on TV or, uh, you know, on the football field and things like that, we put them up on a pedestal and think that they're different than everybody else. But the reality of it is, is you are a person who's an actor, you're a person who may be a football player. That doesn't mean that you don't have the same issues and problems that we all have. There are smart ones of us, not so smart ones of us. There's ones of us that have mental issues, then ones that don't. Some of them that are really intelligent, some that are just plain stupid. And they're no different than us. They just happen to be famous by what they do. And that's the thing we have to understand that, you know, as we see football players and things, you know, we don't understand that they may be having a bad day. And when I want to go snap a selfie with them, that they're, listen, I'm dealing with some stuff here, man. I don't have time. And we take it as, well, they're just an asshole. Well, no, they're a person that's dealing with stuff. You know, they go take a dump and have gas that stinks just like you and me, you know. They're regular people, and regular people in life have problems. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but it was tragic all the way around to have seen somebody who literally was a joy to watch on Sundays, a guy who rushed in 14 games for over 2,000 yards. It's just tragic all the way around. I will... See you guys later. It's just bad.